Hello, this is John Virgo, and welcome to another episode on John Virgo's game channel. Today we are going to be playing a game called Deadlight. Deadlight looks like a pretty sweet 2D uh, side-scrolling platformer, but it reminded me a lot of a couple other games I played in the Xbox Live Arcade. So I figured, you know, it was on sale on Steam for about $7.50. Why not give it a try? It kind of reminded me of the uh, post-apocalyptic world uh, craze that's going on right now. And I've been playing games like War Z, Daisy, you know, things like that. Things that actually make me think about the end of the world and, you know, Zombies are Plus. I don't know if this has anything to do with that, but we'll see. So let's get started. Just like sharks. When they stop moving, they die. That's how you are, Carla. Save yourself. One year before my birth, so this takes place in the past. Let's see. After the storm came the calm and silence that make men crazy. Tell me what the fuck happened here. She's been bitten everywhere. She knew she shouldn't have gone outside. You killed her, you bastard! You murdered her! She's dead! What, what the hell have you done? Why? We would all be dead by now because of your little sister. How Why? many times have we said Why? not to separate from the group? Never means never. Shot drawing their attention even more. Either we reach the military shelter that you talk about so much, Grandpa, or we'll die right here. The radio message said that it was around here. It's a bit more than five miles west. Let's get out of here. Come on! I'm not leaving my sister here all alone. Nothing can be done now, Stella. Sam, Ben, Stella, get out of here. Get to the sea. I'll meet you. I've got to find my family. It's the only place they could have gone. Stay strong, Randy, and good luck. I know we'll find them. That day was not the beginning of anything or the end of something. It was just one more day. A day like any other. The world was dying, and we were its survivors. Good luck, Randy. And that was the end of the first cutscene. So it looks pretty sweet. I like the, uh, the comic book art style going on in this game. So let's read some of the tutorials as we go. Press X or E to interact with inter interactive objects. I'm actually playing with a 360 controller, so I will hit X. So the bloody body has for us. Curl of sweet red gold. My last memory of Carla. Okay, so apparently there's some looting going down this game. The body is full of bites and bruises. Uh, She's been shot point blank in the head. Grab legends. Right, John. So I can already tell right now with the gameplay that I'm really gonna love this game because it has a side-scrolling feel to it, but it's like it reminds me of like a 2D slash 3D platformer. Like that some of the the environment pops out at you, which is pretty cool. You still see the depth of the environment, unlike you know old the wood is Mario games. And the planks are weakened. My weight won't break them. Maybe I can find something heavy enough inside the warehouse. Seattle's safe point must be the last stronghold in all the Pacific Northwest. Anybody alive must be trying to reach it. Oh, a diary. 
one of the girls died today. That seems like something I'll be reading later on. Yeah, we'll read that later. On. I can already see here what I need to be doing. I need to hold the E and push this thing to block. I guess it's kind of obvious to everybody else, but here I might as well leave it out. Press left. Press right. Well, I got it. Just press left. Others made it out. They deserve better than this world. Old RV, I can slide down. Walk down. Come on! Oh, this is cool. Watch this. Let's do it. Oh, I'll just kill myself. There's electricity up top. That should have been pretty obvious. Alright, time to restart this one. Ben and the others made it out. They deserve better than this world. Sliding right off. That was pathetic. Well, you know what? Third time's a charm. Let's see how this goes. Ben and the others made it out. They deserve better than this world. I can't tell if the uh, Randall can't swim, avoid deep water tactic is really just like a cheap ploy to not have to worry about it. Oh wow, okay, it gets weak. It drowns, I guess. But that's just like an, a way to make the game more interesting, or if that just makes it easier for a developer to make a game that's not so hard. I don't know. Something good to think about, isn't it? So let's see if I can make this jump.
And I think we're going to end this video right here. And we'll have a second part coming up for you in the next week or so. Thank you for watching John Those Game Channel, and have a great day.